Hey, it's Toasty Fresh. I'm back with my Football Manager 2012 Let's Play, and uh, we're playing through the non leagues with my local team, Corn FC. And uh, I'm going to go <coughs> and do a quick recap with you as to where I was the last time out. Because I've not been on this game for a good long while. The last time I think I did a video, I was playing, we were playing Staley Bridge in that game. And that was way back in October. I think the video was uh, August. But it could have been August, September actually. Yeah, so I might have got the title of the video right actually. This time it's going to be just November. And we've just got into December now. And I got to the next game of Nort. Which is going to be against uh, Darlington. Because it's a uh, conference premier team. So it's someone a little bit more uh, upmarket to what we usually play. Anyway, just a quick recap of the results. Uh, that have been going on in uh, November. We played Stokesley in the um, FA Cup and we beat them 4 0. It was striker David Lee, uh, Peggy Lacondo, Eric Farrow, and the young Clive Clapham getting a goal. We then played Banbury in the FA Cup trophy. We beat them 5 2. Fergus Bell getting himself a hat trick, David Lee getting another one, and centre back Martin John getting the other. It was back to the league. And uh, we beat Salford 7-2. Fergus Bell got two. David Lee got another two. The right back, Callum O'Kane, got a goal. Uh, left winger, Patrick Vaz got one. And the right winger, Peggy Lacondo, got himself another one. Uh, then we played Leek in the Dudson Cup. And we beat them 1-0. That was Peggy Lacondo again. He was on a rich vein of form at that point. Uh, then the cup matches started to catch up with us. We got a one all draw at Prescott in the league. Fergus Bell getting the only goal in that one. And then uh, another FA Cup round against Concord. This is the one they match that booked us. Uh, the tie with Darlington. And Fergus Bell got another two. Uh, Martin John got another one for himself. Gordon Patton, after not playing for a while, came back on and got himself a goal. And Stephen Sterling got himself a goal from the centre of midfield. Uh, we then went to play Whitley Bay, we drew 3-0 with them. Uh, new signing, who's a loanee signing, Tende Dariqua from Chesterfield. He got two goals and Fergus Bell got another one. And then uh, one of the last times out in the FA Trophy, we played uh, Digcott and that was David Lee and the young left winger, Jordy Joyce, getting a goal, which I think was his first goal of the season. I'm not too sure, I think it was. And then the last time out, we was in the Evo Sticks President's Cup. And we ended up beating them 4-2, coming from behind twice. And that was David Lee, Tom Franklin on goal, Martin John and Ryan McKenzie, another young 16-year-old regen, getting his first ever con goal there. And uh, there we are. Now we're about to play at Darlington. And that's to book ourselves and uh, match with... Northampton in the next round which will be the first round of the FA Cup proper even though it says they're the fifth round it's we're not up to the fifth round yet it's still qualifying it's just the way this custom leagues have been set up it's all out of whack but just before I go on to the match there's been a few changes as well um, regarding players coming in the last time out we just signed up to Alex we got the three young uh, centre mid talents Bradley Dak released by Gillingham uh, Harrison Reed released by Southampton and B Alex Mullen released by Burnley. Uh, since then, I've signed uh, Aaron Williams, uh, who's related to Middlesbrough's Reese Williams, and there's also Ryan Williams, who played for Portsmouth. Uh, there is two brothers, and I signed him. He got released by Burnley, so I signed him up. He's on a pretty decent wage of 1,300, really good for this level, really, but. I thought I'd bring him in because he's got some quality and he's only going to get better. I brought in a little prospect, uh, Ross Killock. He's only on £55 a week. He's just for the reserves. It's not saying his he's, uh, potential is that good anymore. It was seen better when I signed him. So I'll have to see how he goes. Like I said, we got a 10-day Dariqua on his first start. He got himself two goals. He's had a start and a sub-appearance. I Oh, no, he's had a few appearances now. But he's got himself two goals and a decent average rating. And uh, I just got in because I saw it come up saying, oh, would you like to scout this guy? And now he's plays for Burnley, which is my club in real life. He's signed for Burnley. And um, 
on this he's still a right winger which I wouldn't mind Burnley maybe using him in that uh, right mid role at one point just to mix things up but yeah being a Burnley fan I thought hey I'll get that, I'll get him in and uh, see how he does so far he's done pretty well uh, for us and then just recently I brought a bit of experience into the centre back position with uh, Marlon Brooms 35 year old uh, centre back vastly experienced player you know he's played all over I think he started out at Blackburn and he's been at Swindon, uh, QPR, uh, Grimsby, Sheffield Wednesday, a long stint at Preston, uh, he's played for Stoke, Blackpool, Crew, uh, Tranmere. On the game he starts out at Cliveroe on uh, Football Manager but he, he got to move up from Cliveroe to South, Am South End in League 2 so he made a massive leap up really, that's quite a few divisions because we're in that division now and we're still some way off what is it, about four leagues off being in the league and um, he got nine appearances and an assist there, didn't do absolutely brilliant so I must have not done enough to warrant uh, them keeping him on but finally we got to sign him, I was looking after signing uh, Sean Hesse uh, the ex uh, Accrington centre back, he's played all over as well but he decided to go to uh, Mosley so not much of a step up, I don't know why he chose them over us but uh, there you go and anyway, we might as well go to the uh, match and I'm going to play the counter-attacking uh, style even though we're at home. Uh, the supposedly a better team will probably be evenly-ish matched. Uh, I won't be able to tell you use Liam Richardson because he got injured in the last game. So another very experienced player gone. Uh, I'm going to have to use... I'm not too sure what to use. Sean Park, maybe, I haven't used him for a while, so I'm hoping he doesn't have a bad game. But I'll, I'll put him there and I'll leave McKenzie, I think, on the bench. I'm just tell him whether to stay with Aaron Williams. He doesn't. He hasn't done terribly bad, but he hasn't been brilliant either. And I think I'm going to have to stick with Bowen in the centre of midfield because... Um, I forget where he is now. Brian Hughes is still injured. Uh, Harry Rubens isn't in the best shape. And we had another injury as well. So it's either that or Willie Ball. And, and I think we're better off put, keeping Bowen in there, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if to stick with Hughes. I think I'll actually put uh, Fergus Bell to start. Hughes has been a bit off the boil. He kind of lost his place, and not really for any fault of his own. Just uh, for some reason I started using Bell and he started scoring freely, so he's kind of just edged him out. I think I'll stick with David Lee doing the supporting role. And out far, I did pretty well, so I'm actually going to risk uh, leaving him on. But I think I'll put Patrick Vaz on the bench instead of Jordy Joyce and have an experienced player to maybe come off the bench. And uh, Dominic Rell is just coming back from fitness, so he's... I don't think he's going to make the bench and it's going to be like Kondo is on the bench and I'll keep Dorico on but that's how the team's going to pan out in this game hopefully we'll win through in this match and we'll come up against Northampton in the next round and that'll probably be the next match I'll show you because it'll probably be the next match that's of any kind or not really I mean, I'd, all the episodes are just going to be non-league and nothing really special, uh, to be fair. So we'll do... I usually close down, it does say Mark Wingers, usually that's the advice I usually get. But I tend to close them down and show them the week of foot. And I'll try and tap Mark the Strikers. And I do sometimes uh, close down the centre mids as well but sometimes it works sometimes that formation kind of doesn't work uh, I'm gonna tell them I'll say that to them and then I'll tell them that I have faith in them as well because that kind of has this added effect of it calms them down a little bit and then it gives them a bit of a G up as well. 
so you get the kind of added thing of getting rid of the nerves that they might have for a bigger match but also fires them up a little bit to show that you've got belief in them Derek quite a good pass in there, we're not doing too bad so far on the counter attacking, oh there we go Faro, an early goal, 49 seconds and we're on fire so proving that um, I should have kept faith with him, Faro, he's just come back from he went on international duty so his fatigue levels are a bit low so I think I give him like a two game rest or something like that and he's just come back for the last two games so he's done really well there, he might have to get subbed in the next half, the second half, he'll probably be going off. But so far we're doing okay, we've got the counter attacking style, so maybe more reactive. It seems to be working so far though. <clears throat> I think them being the better team, even though they're away, they're coming at us a little bit and leaving themselves exposed. That's how it seems to be anyway. And Dariko fires a ball in. He can get onto that as well. Oh, I lost out to him though. Oh, Faro there gets the foul. Does the foul from Reggie Lamb. And I think is it going to be Dariko to take this free kick? No, it's Bowen from the centre midfield. He's going to fire it in. An ex Blackburn youth player there. So we've got quite a few players in the team of good pedigree really for a non-league team I know usually non-league teams will have a spattering of those kind of players but we've got pretty heavily throughout the team the their ex-premier or championship or league youth players there's no one really that's been exclusively from the non-league the only really players are like the reunion players, Eric Farrow, who's played like amateur football in the reunion leagues. And I don't know why they've got amazingly high stats for this level of football. But so far we're not doing too bad now, we're on 20 odd minutes, coming up to 30 minutes and we're bossing this game really, it's all been us, even though we're playing this counter attacking style. I'm just hoping that they don't try and throw the kitchen sink at us and uh, we come unstuck. Dariko again, the short one. Oh, and Williams lost out there, that was poor from Williams. Putting us under a little bit of unnecessary pressure there now. They're getting a little bit of a foothold in the game now. This is their f That was their first real attack, but he made up for it there I suppose with the tackle. He hasn't been as impressive as I thought it'd be Aaron Williams and I'll have to see if he doesn't book his ideas up it'll be going back to Callum O'Kane. Oh and David Lee, poor foul there. Lucky to not get a yellow card maybe for that one. But now we're on 30 odd minutes. And I'll just look at there that that striker didn't <coughs> get anywhere near that. And Sean Park hasn't done too bad. I thought it might be a bit rust there with him not playing for a while. Oh, unselfish there. And Darik was scored. He's proving to be a successful loan. That's his third goal now in five games. So he's done really well. I think his contract might be ending uh, at the end of this season as well. So if I can try and persuade him uh, to sign for his full time, that could be a really good signing at the moment. I've got him... Uh, for free as well, he's not costing us anything. His wages are being paid by his parent club, so and it's a really good move, really, to get him to come and play this far down, really. <coughs> and Bateman, there were a good save. He's been a lot better of late as that uh, Bateman. Usually, he's not really at fault for the goals. Usually, he's like a It'll be one on one or something where you can't really avoid it. You can't really avoid letting the odd goal in. Or if someone gets a free header on a corner or something that's point blank, it, you know. But he's made some two 
like he made a brilliant save in one of the last games where it, it looked like an almost certain goal and he managed to pull a save out. But so far we're doing really good. Um, oh, I've been pressed the wrong one then. I meant I'm happy. And uh, we'll tell them. We're happy. So that's a bad one. I pressed the wrong button. That was my bad. Saying that I'm not happy with their... They were playing with confidence. So that could actually give us a kick in the uh, pants there. As they did okay. Dariqua, oh, we tried to snake that one in. I think he did like a little daisy cutter there. Trying to hit it across the floor. And hoping it would miss everybody. Oh, but see there, Parks made a mistake. And that's my bad, really. I put pressure on him. But I didn't mean to press that. I was meant, I meant to press that. I was happy with their defensive efforts. Because they kept him out. I mean, you can't be much more happy than going in 2-0 at half-time. You know, but that's my bad. And he'll probably make a few mistakes now. So, oof. But then again, they're going to come at us now with pretty much everything they've got. And as we can see, there's been two attacks already from them within seven minutes of the half. They've had two meaningful attacks. Oof, but they're having some really wild long-range shots and I doubt they're going to score two at that rate. Hopefully we can kind of get back into the game. We're on the back foot in this second half. The game's kind of flipped at the minute. They kind of took a narrow roll. Oh, Flanagan, though, a great header to put David Lee through. This could change our fortunes. Oh, but he went for the shot. He should have gone for the cross, really, then. Oh, pause, come on. And we've got a corner. I don't know if to let this corner go through, and then we'll make a sub, I think. We'll let the corner go through first. And Dariq has got it. Oh, and he put a dangerous cross in. Oh, I don't like how Park is one of the men left back when he's feeling quite stressed out. Uh, I'm going to make my sub, though. Or oh, one sub. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll look on the tactics thing because they could have even changed some players. Yeah, they brought Adam Rundle on, so we're going to close him down and show him on his weaker foot. Uh, who do we change? Oh, ooh, a few people are quite tired out there. Uh, so we're going to try... I'm going to try Willie Ball and the experience. He's come on for the last game, last two games. He's been out in the wilderness, really, not playing for us. But now Harry Rubens is still not back to full fitness yet. We're going to have to put him on. And uh, I think that's it for now. That's the only player that's really tired. So we'll... Uh, We'll say we want to see a good display because he's old enough to, I think, expect a decent display. That's going to be a goal. I was going to say that's got to be a goal. Oh, so there's a bit of pressure now for the last 20 minutes of the game. I'm wondering whether to try and put it to attacking football. It's kind of my own fault because of, like I said, with the defenders, I shouldn't have done that. But now we're back on it, though. Oh, and John almost snuck in there and got a goal. He gets quite a few goals from set pieces. That's usually his forte from corners or from a free kick. He directs a lot of bullet headers in. Oh, and I thought that was going to be a fluke goal then. One thing we don't want, they're just shooting at will now. Um, but we're on 80 odd minutes now. Oh, and so unlucky then not to get another goal. We'll make another sub. Because uh, Eric Farrow's quite tired, we'll put uh, Patrick Vaz on. He did well, he got a good goal. And uh, I don't know whether to put Mike Hughes on or not. Um, hmm, should, should I put two on at once? Or is anyone else really, really tired? 
I don't think so. So I might put Mark Hughes on up front. And we'll put those through. That should hopefully we can Oh Williams lost out there. Like I said he's not dead steady and that's gonna Oh brilliant save from the keeper. He's absolutely saved our ass in with that save. Therefore, he should get some he should get a good rating for this game, I think John Bateman. Usually have pretty average ratings for your goalkeepers usually. But he d definitely deserves a good rating on this one. He's had two key saves so far that I would say were key saves. That one, definitely, anyway. That could be a match-winning save, that. Come on, get out to that. You need to get out to that straight away. Come on, Faro, get on the end of it. I thought I'd subbed Faro. Come on, they've had two things of the player stopping and they've not put my substitutions through yet. There we go, the subs are through. So I want to change this now to retain possession and we'll hassle them. We've got to get on them now, make sure that they don't have any room to breathe. Oh, we've got an injury as well. Hopefully it's not another permanent injury. Oh, here we go. Long throw in, but we've got it out of there. Derek, we should get it. On a nice long ball into space, Bell's picked it up. Oh, nice try. Keeper was alive to it though. On this three minutes, I've had a time left yet though. Uh, just need to keep hold of it now. We've got retains possession. Bell's doing a good job there. Nice pass to Darryk, and he goes for a shot that goes well, well wired. It wastes a bit of time though, when we've now we've got like half a minute left. Hopefully they blow more or less dead on the whistle. They shouldn't have much time. Nice header from Park. Hughes is taking it forward. Holds it up nicely and that's it, we've done it. Job done. So, a nice victory there over um, Conference Premier Darlington. Well, I think the Conference Premier anyway, let's, I'll just... Do the thing and we'll check actually because it could have been relegated. Well done. And I think he did really well. Yeah, we'll, we'll make him happy because I didn't mean to upset him the last time out. Yeah, we did really well though that game, I think. Yeah, we did really well. It was a surprise. Are they, are they yeah. yeah, Blue Square Premier, yeah, so Conference Premier. So that's a pretty good result. But uh, that's all i got time for on this video. It's just a quick video to recap and just to do a little bit of an interesting match. I'll come back with the Northampton match next as that'll be our first league opposition that we've had this season. Last time out we managed to beat uh, Wimbledon. Uh, we'll be able to repeat that feat this time out and beat another league team. Who knows, but we'll see in the next episode I think. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.